biological groups attempt to organize the, the great diversity of life into sets of organisms which not only share more features, anatomical and genetic features, but also which reflects their ancestry. One could then ask, say, among primates, how should the primates be organized and how do humans fit into this primate family tree? Well, one could compare chromosomal banding patterns, the position of genes, one could compare muscles and brain traits. Among the various ways that organisms can be compared is the order of specific monomers in long molecules. For example, the order of nucleotides in DNA or say of amino acids and proteins. In this study, the phylogeny of primates was compared using the sequences of mitochondria, and it was the most complete mitochondrial uh, comparison uh, at the time of its publication. Not only do the comparisons allow for the branching of a family tree, but if you look at the pink bar in the upper left, you'll see that the relative lengths of the bars uh, indicate the number of sequence differences. So the longer the lines between a branch point, the greater the number of uh, changes in the nucleotide order. Biologically speaking, humans are classified in a subfamily homininae. Note that in this comparison, there are three different species of the genus Homo. Not only Homo sapiens alive today, but also the mitochondrial uh, genomes of two fossil species are known, the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. So all of these three species are classified in the genus Homo. And there are two species of chimpanzee classified in the genus Pan and one species of gorilla. These three are more closely related to each other than any uh, are to other organisms outside this group. And this group is classified as the subfamily homininae. Note that the differences in this group, especially between say chimps and humans, are minor compared to many of the differences which we will observe within primate uh, groups uh, in the subsequent uh, groupings in this study. While humans, chimps, and gorillas are classified together in the subfamily homininae, these groups and orangutans are then classified together in the family homininidae. So orangutans are more closely related to uh, homininae than they are to any other organisms, but less closely related to humans than chimps and gorillas. That is reflected in these sequence comparisons. Note that the gibbons, the numerous species of gibbons, are more closely related to each other than they are to any other apes, but that they are classified as apes. So the family hominidae and the gibbons, they then are classified as the biological group apes, and that the sequence comparisons of mitochondrial DNA support this grouping. There are different types of monkeys, and some monkeys are classified as old world monkeys, different from those which live in Latin America. These old world monkeys are more closely related to apes than the new world monkeys are to apes. And so the apes and these old world monkeys form a group known as the catarine primates. There are two subfamilies of the species of old world monkeys, the Cercopithinae and the Colobinae. These uh, then form two separate subfamilies of old world monkeys. Uh, old world monkeys are more closely related to each other than they are uh, to apes, but together they form the catarine primates. Note the length of the bars here, 
where many of the old world monkeys are more distantly related to each other than humans are to chimps. The genetic differences between them are greater. While the catarine primates of old world monkeys and apes form a group. Together, they form a group with the New World primates, the monkeys found in Latin America. Together, they are called anthropoids. The sequence comparisons of mitochondrial DNA not only support the relationships of New World monkeys being more closely related to each other than any are to the Old World monkeys, but also that anthropoid primates form a group. The anthropoid primates form a group of apes, Old World monkeys and New World monkeys. And together, they are related to prosimians to form the order primates. Parsiers are the prosimians, which seem to be the most closely related to the anthropoids, being their sister group. And then there are diverse uh, prosimians, the ii, the lemurs, and the lorises. Uh, together, uh, they, along with the anthropoids, form the order primates. Notice that the lengths of the bars separating uh, some of the groups of lemurs or lorises are longer uh, than many of the previous uh, bars, uh, indicating that, for example, humans are much more closely related to chimps than some lemurs are to other lemurs, for example. These sequence comparisons demonstrate that not only are primates related to each other, they are also related to other groups of mammals, but not equally. So there are some uh, groups which are more closely related to primates, such as dermopterans and tree shrews. Rodents and rabbits uh, are more closely related to primates than certain groups of mammals, such as carnivorous mammals and hoofed mammals like horses. And so these sequence comparisons support not only relationships uh, among mammals as evidenced by similarities in the mitochondrial genomes, but a pattern of similarities consistent with other studies on both anatomical similarities and genetic similarities.